Look at me, I'm a nerd. I want to learn something really fast. I want the shortcuts. Well, you nerd, listen here. I'm going to teach you. I'm going to have you mastering jQuery in five minutes if you just give me the chance. So let's get right into it. Welcome to Master jQuery in five minutes. And in this quick guide, guys, please subscribe to this channel. I will definitely haunt you down. I will haunt you down if you don't subscribe. We will dive into the world of jQuery, a fast, small and feature-rich JavaScript library. It simplifies things like HTML document traversal and manipulation, event handling and animation, making it easy and faster to develop web application. So let's embark on this coding adventure, guys. As we delve, as we, uh, as we dive deeper, <laughs> as we dive deeper, we first need to grasp the basics. What is what is jQuery? It basically sim simplifies JavaScript by re reducing the code needed to accomplish the basic task or tasks in and off. For instance, with just a few lines of jQuery, you can easily manipulate HTML content, handle events, or animate elements on your web page. We will start by exploring selectors and event handlers, the heart of jQuery. As you can see over here, we have them right here. This is a click event. It basically handle, handles it very, very, in a very simple form, in a very simple matter. So reaching the peak of our journey, we will now we will now tackle more advanced features. We will look at Ajax for asynchronous web requests, creating effects and animations to enhance user experience and utilizing jQuery plugins to extend functionality. This is where you will see the true power of jQuery in action, bringing dynamic and interactive elements to life, which all users love, man. Listen, look at this Ajax example. We have the URL and the success. The function, sorry, to handle the, the response here. What else? Best practices and optimization. As we start to conclude, it's crucial to focus on best practices and optimization techniques. Writing clean, efficient code and reusable code is key in jQuery. We'll go over how to manipulate selectors for performance chain methods to streamline code and avoid common pitfalls. This ensures your jQuery code is not just functional, but also well-structured and maintainable. So these are some of the best practices, guys, and optimization. Important practices in jQuery development includes writing clean, efficient and reusable code, please. Please guide, guys, reusable code. Always, always implement the dry method, or the dry principle, the dry philosophy, the dry principle in programming, which means that you don't want to repeat yourself all the time. So if you've written a method once, then let it be there. If you're going to need it again, create the function, create it, create your code, turn your code into a function that you can always call on and reuse. Optimize and select us for, for better performance uh, method containing to streamline code, avoiding common pitfalls methods, uh, method chaining example like this. Guys, so in just five minutes, you basically gain the foundational understanding of jQuery, but the journey doesn't end here, guys. The world of web development is vast and it's constantly evolving. So you always have to keep up to date. Stay on your toes, man. And stay updated with the latest trends and practices is actually essential for all of us web developers. Keep practicing, explore more complex projects, and continue learning to truly master jQuery. Happy coding. This is it. This is literally it, guys. This is it. This is the ebook that I've been working on. It's called Free JS Essentials.